This is a king size bed. So I use a uh, center foot to uh, give the mattress a lot more support. So it's got a center foot with an adjustable um, um, foot on it. And uh, so I usually leave that, it should be up now. And uh, you can screw that down until it hits the floor nicely. Um, and to get this set up, I'm actually going to use some clamps. Put it just it out of the way. Um, very nice to have uh, another person. This would be labeled foot and head. I suppose if you uh, reversed it, it really wouldn't matter. I'm going to see if this will just balance here while I get this. in place. So there's a big washer and a lock washer. There should be anyway. Put that in by hand. Let's come in closer on this. Sorry about that. So, what we've got is a countersunk hole. We've got a bolt that's going to go right through there. And then we've got a big washer, big flat washer. And then we've got a lock washer. So, bring the slat up. You want to put the big flat washer on first. Then you're going to put the cut lock washer. And then you're going to put the nut on. Then you're going to take a screwdriver and tighten that up. This does not need to be super tight. And I don't even use a wrench because that lock washer holds it. So I just, you know, snug that up pretty good. I'm not going to, I have to take this apart, so I don't want to crank it up too tight. Okay, now we're going to back up again. And uh, so that's all in place. And let's see how this is sitting. Okay, we got some spring there. So we can tighten this down just by hand until it pushes up a little bit. Now that's rock solid. You don't want to create a bump in there. Now you want to take your slats, and your slats are all going to be labeled. Um, this is number nine. There should be eight or nine slats. Uh, this is labeled foot nine. So I'm going to start down here. And this V is going to fit right around the peg. And go in order so that you can keep track. And I'm going to give a close up here so that we can see. See number nine there. I'm going to grab number eight and slide it right in place. It's not a tight fit. Make sure both ends are over the peg and um, it sets down there. This makes setup very easy. Number seven. Now we'll go back again.
start from number one or number nine, doesn't matter. That's it. All set, ready to go. So showing the slat system again, we've got um, individual slats. Um, the head will be labeled, the one at the head will be labeled number one. And I've got a head label there also to avoid confusion and then they'll be numbered all the way down the line um, this bed has nine slats and uh, the last one will be labeled foot and uh, since this is a king size bed it will also have a foot to head rail with an adjustable foot that goes down to the floor and uh, that rail is is hung from a cherry cleat and bolted in place that goes on first and then the slats lay right across and they just sit in their pegs the peg just holds them in place and it's not a tight fit it just holds it there so they're not going to slide around on you very simple yet secure design. Here's the, I took a couple slats off. This is the uh, adjustable foot. So it's got a little screw adjuster you can uh, crank right down to the floor. Um, when you get this, you should pro but when you assemble it, you should screw that foot up if I haven't done it. It allows you to get it in there a little easier. And then, once you get it in place, screw it down so that it hits the floor. Don't crank it up too much to create a hump in the middle of your bed.